This episode really feels like a Beach City episode, despite the fact that it centers around Steven's new ability. Well, he jumps in the air for a long time, which is not in the same way as what the other Crystal Gems did when it comes to heading to one place to another. And the biggest reason reasons on to why that this episode is a beach to the episode is because we spent the last several episodes from season two and this season at the barn where it's centered around Peridot's arc along with the fact that Lapis is spending her life at the barn that is being shared with Peridot. In this episode after Steven returned home, he heads he heads to the big donut that it was closed, and then when Sadie tells them that they've been making their own donuts, he needs to be the first to get there on time to be the first to eat their fresh donuts. With Steven setting his alarm, he is so excited, he jumped in the air, and he's been floating in the air for the remainder of the night and in the morning, while the Crystal Gems keep him occupied. The times I've watched this episode, it really feels like an episode that you can watch out of context, and this is honestly the definition of a filler episode, well, it's not trying too hard. Because to tell you the truth, whenever people discuss Beach City episodes as mostly filler episodes, it's mainly one of the worst episodes, but at the same time when it came to this episode, it really feels like that I'm basically watching a completely different show rather than Steven Universe. If, even if this is mainly important when it comes to Steven's powers, he doesn't do these types of powers considering that the gems who go to one place to another when it comes to their abilities, mainly when Garnet jumped off screen in order to get a phone to communicate with Steven, my th theory is the fact that they probably wanted Steven to use this ability when it's mostly accurate to the situations that he's in. Because believe me, there were many scenarios that came to Steven being trapped and finding solutions to get out of the situation when it comes to the jumping ability. But if this ability is a lot more different than how the Crystal Gems do it, then... All I can think of is, this episode is out of context if you don't follow anything and think of Steven's jumping ability as something else rather than the exact same abilities as Garnet, Amethyst, and Paws. Since that they jumped to to keep Steven occupied, the only thing I can think of is, is that they have the ability to jump but not float in the air. Whenever I describe these types of episodes when it comes to these types of fellows, the only fellow that I'm getting is the fact that this episode of context really feels like a different episode from a different show when it comes to a character responding into these scenarios. And to tell you the truth, even though that Steven had dealt with these experiences before, in this episode it really feels like that he didn't have any problems when it comes to falling because the same thing happened later on when it comes to mindful education when it came to him falling with Connie and even though that he wasn't floating despite the fact that his fusion with Connie is when he was was like Loshi by using his legs to float himself it didn't even give me the impression that this ability alone really made me feel anything other than not even the facial expressions from this screenshot, but then again, these fa facial expressions are mostly humorous. But pushing aside on the fact that if Jamie was in Sadie's position, since that he was in theater and seeing Sadie like this is somewhat humorous but also weird, this really felt like the beginning of the Beach City episodes that really affected the really affected the fan base when when they wanted to see more centering around the gems and what they and what they go through when it comes to the development of Lapis and Peridot. I'll admit, I'm fully aware that this episode is a prime example of a Beach City episode that didn't need to happen, and I will admit that. In the many episodes, aside from the bad ones, this is the least that I enjoyed. 
because it wasn't boring. Like, it's difficult for people to sit through a filler episode that doesn't give you anything. But at the same time, when it comes to it not being boring, it's honestly the best accomplishment an episode can do. Especially its ending, well, despite being late, Steven manages to get his fresh donut being the first customer as he jumped in joy and crashed up to the ceiling. Along with the, along with the scene where Garnet took a phone from the Beach City Citizens and when Amethyst tells her who is it from and then she said, that's not important. But at the same time, after the Bond episodes, we're back into the Beach City episodes and despite my opinions towards those episodes being different than, than the people's opinions on focusing on the main plot, I'm starting to understand where people's criticisms are coming from when it comes to the hiatuses, but at the same time, the hiatuses were a long time ago, and when it came to this binge-watching experience, it's the same thing as the last binge-watching experience since I never went through hiatuses. I'm sorry, but that's not on me. Anyway, I'm giving this episode a 6 out of 10. You.